Hi, and welcome to Resin Chem Tech. Today, I wanted to give a brief overview of a virtual window I created for my windowless basement. I decided to create this after the first couple of months of being stuck at home, working in my basement, and not having any kind of view to the outside world. And so the, the concept was, was really pretty simple. The idea was to, to take a, a smart TV, enclose it in a frame, uh, add a Raspberry Pi running a Python program, uh, I'd also decided to add it in situations where uh, the weather isn't so isn't so wonderful here in Indiana. Uh, I made some options to add uh, basically some some looping videos. So uh, if the whatever mood happens to strike me, I, I can can display numerous things on my virtual window. The control of this is is relatively straightforward. Uh, it's, it's through Home Assistant or through MQTT. I've basically added controls that basically allow me, once again, to, to select any camera uh, from the list, uh, the same way with the videos. I do have a, an option to actually put these on a, on a loop as well. Uh, there's also an option here, get this button to work, that there are push buttons here on the side. I'm gonna stand up and try not to bump into the camera. But the same thing here, I can basically push a button without the use of, of Home Assistant or anything like that. Um, but one of the things I, I wanted to do on this when building this thing was I, I, did, I did want the option to, for this to be used as a regular TV. So it was a bit of a challenge in figuring out how to create those, I don't call if you call them muttons or millions or I, I'm going to call them the, the cross grid, uh, the bars on there. So I wanted those to be removable in the final design. So if I wanted to use this for uh, Amazon Prime, Netflix, or anything else, it could function as a regular TV as well. Uh, building this thing was was really pretty simple. Uh, I took a, in this case, it was a TCL Roku 42-inch TV, I believe. Basically built a frame around the TV. Uh, made some cutouts. In this case, the oval cutouts were for the speakers. The round cutouts I added at the top of the bottom, really just for ventilation. Eventually, I would, would use a speaker grill fabric to cover those. The notch at the bottom of this one is this particular TV. The TV is going to rest on the bottom. And this particular TV, the IR receiver actually jutted out a little bit from the bottom. So it was necessary to, to notch out for that for that IR receiver. I also took the unused HDMI ports and I wanted to route those to the outside. So they were available again to hook up a laptop, game console, any other video source uh, when you wanted to use this as a regular TV. These, I, I basically printed some 3D parts. This is how I decided to approach installing that cross grid. These little uh, strips you see here are actually strapping tape or the, the tape you see wrapped around uh, materials on a pallet. I, I found a, a few yards of that basically thrown in a trash can at the local hardware store. Um, so those were, were free of charge, which is my favorite type of parts. Um, but basically, this is I start to lay out the grid, and here's where I use that tape and those little 3D parts that are attached to the grid. By sliding those underneath there, it makes it easy to slide each of those down, take the grid, pull it off, use it for a regular TV. Then when I want to go back to window mode, simply put that back in, slide those clips back into a place, and it, and it holds the grid in place. So there's the completed frame. Um, the TV basically... Like I mentioned, you want it, the only concern here about the size of the TV is the depth. These are one by four, so you want this to hang flush against the wall. So you need a TV that doesn't protrude out uh, any deeper than, than your one by fours. But basically, the TV just rests in there, rests against the trim at the top. And the design on this was so that the trim would exactly align with the edge of the bezel. So the bezel of the TV is covered, but it leaves the full screen real estate. And they're simply just held into place with uh, angle brackets in the corner. So there's the completed TV, and there it is mounted on the wall. When I opted to mount this, uh, the problem is I wanted it flush against the wall, and any kind of TV mount wasn't going to allow that. So I simply took a 2x2, two two, about 20 inches long, mounted it into two studs, then basically added a, a thing to the inside of the frame. So the TV just basically hangs on the top of that 2x2. Two so that's a really quick overview of my virtual window for my windowless basement. If you're interested in more details, I'll post a link down there to a uh, blog article that contains uh, the complete parts list, the build details. Uh, in addition, uh, my GitHub will have the Python program that runs off of the Raspberry Pi. Uh, 
that drives all, all of the video. So if you're interested in seeing more of these videos, click the subscribe button. If you want to be notified when I uh, release a new video, click the little bell icon next to it. And I hope to do more videos soon, and we'll see you soon. Thanks.